My name's Emily Newton. I decided to do computer science for this topic. And the reason why I chose computer science is because ever since I was in elementary school, I've been fascinated with animation. And so this is a product of some experimentation. And then in high school, I wanted to learn more about the coding that went behind the scenes in some of the uh, animation software. And so I decided to take the AP computer science course and this is a Flappy Bird game that I made with Katherine Madison for our final AP exam. And so the main reason, the major reason why I wanted to do computer science is because it is such a core career field that branches off into other career fields like agriculture, the medical field, or music production. And it's such a great opportunity for change that I want to be a part of. And so for my research, my question was, what is the impact of technology on the world on a global scale? And uh, as I was looking through some of these sources and researching, I was thrown back into freshman year. Uh, a lot of Jared Diamond's Gunstrom's and Steel's theories from his book were popping up everywhere where people from third world countries don't have like the money, the resources and the time to create this technology that first world countries can. However, something that I concluded is that first world countries developed so far that people from third world countries are still being impacted by their large scale technology. So I guess charity organizations or educational educations from places like America go to these developing countries to these technologies with them. So in a way, they're still being impacted. And also in some of these developing countries, they have machinery. They may seem rustic to us, but they really help in increasing, increasing their productivity, especially in agriculture, since in most of these developing countries, agriculture is a basis for their main source of economy. For my internship, I interned at an app development company at Willow Tree. It's located in Charlottesville on the downtown mall. I found out about Willow Tree by taking a tech tour my junior year. And the presenter there was very enthusiastic about their college internship program. So I asked them if they were willing to take in a high school intern. And she was very excited because they had been trying to build up a high school internship program. So it was kind of their guinea pig in a way. And I got an interview with them and I got an internship with them. So this is the, uh, the group of college interns that I got to meet. And I asked one of them about how they uh, decided app development was something they wanted to pursue in college. And he said that he had taken like a ton of different courses in college, whether it be uh, mechanical engineering or computer science or more software based. And he decided that app development was something he wanted to pursue. This is Miss Lizzie Batman. She was my mentor during my stay at Willow Tree. She was such a wonderful woman. She was very welcoming and she's the reason why I made so many contacts at Willow Tree that I continue to talk to. Uh, she had me shadow an Android developer, an iOS developer, a web developer, and a QA team member. And it was such an amazing experience. And I still have their and I talk to them every once in a while. 
Uh, she also gave me some real life skills, how to create a resume with high school experience and college experience. And she also gave me some ideas on what Willow Tree or companies like Willow Tree would be asking during an interview and how to answer those questions in a professional way. And she also let me sit in on one of their interview processes for a potential applicant. And it was, it was a really fun experience that uh, now I'm, I'm glad I had, so now I know what I need to do when I want to get into a company like this. And so what I learned from interviewing the people I shadowed is that you never stop learning in this field. Technology and computer languages are constantly being updated and created. And so they need to keep up to date with those sorts of things. And this is one of their kitchens and their lounge area. This goes to show that they're, they like to make a comfortable environment for their employees, a way for them to take a break from the computer, relax, talk, socialize with their coworkers. And it also gives them a place to have social events. Like they have a, they have a band full of different employees there that just happen to play instruments or they have game nights and that sort of thing. And it really brings them together and it helps with creating or helps with working in groups and games on projects. And so it's really, from what I've seen, it's one big happy family and they really, uh, they were so nice to me and they helped me a lot and they really encouraged me to continue to pursue computer science. And so for my community service, I kind of branched off and I decided to do more of a cybersecurity awareness instead of app development. I created uh, three lesson plans and I taught a few of the teachers and students in, in the school. I created a password lesson plan about how to create a unique uh, password or complex password for every service you use on the internet using an algorithm. I, I uh, created a lesson about um, uh, good digital footprints, how to get out there, get yourself out there on the internet, create a positive uh, image of, of you, I guess, uh, join different communities and share experiences with other people. And I also created a lesson plan about phishing, uh, how to re report and identify scams on the internet. This is my mentor, Mrs. Moravik. She's in the crowd today. I want to thank her for being here and supporting me and encouraging me throughout this entire community service project. She taught me uh, how to create lesson plans and how much research goes into it and how to organize my objectives. And she also helped me learn how to teach in different environments and different platforms. Um, these are some pictures of me teaching some teachers. And this is a class that I taught. And after every lesson that I taught, I gave them a lesson evaluation. So this way, so this way I could get feedback and critique my own lesson plans and to become a better instructor for others. I also wanna thank Mrs. Moravik again, cause she is uh, the main person who's pushing my uh, legacy forward. She's published me on her blog, so teachers on the internet can access my lesson plans and use them or gain ideas from them. And uh, she's also been requested to continue teaching the lesson plans I have to more classes and more teachers. And I wanna thank her so much for that. It makes me really happy that something I've created is now being passed forward to other people. Something I learned about myself is that I can be very disorganized with objectives and prioritizing, and I wish I would keep a calendar more often. <laughs> um, I also learned that I'm really passionate about computer science, and I want to continue uh, learning more about it. And I also learned that I'm fairly decent with teaching, and I hope that I can use the skills that I learned and improved on to, uh, to use it in the future. Um, something I might have done differently. So I found a quote somewhere. It goes along uh, the lines of there's researching on the internet is almost like taking a drink from a fire hydrant. There's just so much information out there 
And I really wish I had focused my research paper a lot more. And uh, because I had stretched my question so thin that it was really broad and I wish I had been able to delve deeper into a single topic. And I wish I would have taken more pictures at my internship, but I was more, uh, I was trying to experience the internship rather than taking pictures. And um, I, I wish that I had taught more of my lessons. I taught, I taught to death my password lesson, but I wish I had uh, taught more people about um, the other two. And advice for Blue Ridge Governor School students. Uh, I would say be proactive. I started around this time my junior year uh, researching what kind of topic I wanted to do and what my internship could be. And I also suggest doing your internship over the summer. That's what I did. And I think it was the best decision of my life. It gave me more time to do my community service project and to do my research paper. And communication is key to this entire project. You want to be uh, communicating with your advisor and your um, mentors and any experts in the field you want to use as um, uh, sources for your research paper. And so communication is key. And for my future, I hope to, I'm going to be going to Virginia Tech to study computer science. Are there any questions? So when I first talked to Will